Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am here to do the uh, weekly reading, tarot reading, for advice for the next seven days. This is spiritual advisement. It's um, going to be applicable in different areas of your life. So discernment, you will need your own discernment to try and you know, kind of place it where it belongs. But we're going to take a look at what does spirit want you to know for the next seven days and how can they best, you know, advise you on the occurrences that, you know, energetically are aligned to have. So pile number one is the tiger's eye moon. Pile number two is the, um, uh, uh shit. Hold on. A pitolite? I think it's a pitolite. And pile number three is howlite. So um, again, this is advice from spirit for the next seven days. Take your choices. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you find it is exactly, you know, when you need to find it. It doesn't matter when it was uploaded. And you can always come back and revisit and choose a different pile if you're guided to do so in the future. Um, if you'd like to book a personal private reading or join my uh, Patreon, donate a deck, anything you need to know is in the description box below. All right, let's see what you got going on for the week. All right, I guess Spirit wants me to hold on to that one. All right, we've got the Nine of Wands. Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. We have a happy, let me just do, do, do. Okay. A happy more, or I'm sorry, a happy move <laughs> to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. Hmm. We have balance. We have commitment. We'll put that under the nine of wands. We have patience. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Oh, we have sexuality, which is, you know, um, sacral chakra. It's also how we create our creative energy. And we have don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. Isn't this beautiful? All right. We'll take a look at your blessing, I guess, at the end. Because I was going to look at all of them. But um, I don't know. I felt intuitively like that was probably the way spirit wants me to do it. So we'll read that at the end. <clears throat> so... There's a definite need here for you to free yourself energetically it's a past belief okay so look at you've leveled up you've you've got some kind of recognition going on here So relationship doesn't have to be romantic, guys. It can be with the sexuality card, but also with the Celeste saying a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. So for some of you, this will be relationships in your home or place of employment. Those relationships can be with bosses, coworkers, friends, family, lovers. But this week, there's a need for you to kind of you need to be in flow. There's something here arriving this week that you've been wanting that you've been committed to 
having, that you've been working towards. This looks like a wishing well, and she's sitting there patiently waiting for that wish to come in. Nine of Wands is don't give up, right? Don't give up. Don't give up. Here we've got don't give up. But we also have the energy of balance and free yourself. Free yourself of anything that's not in balance. So there are certain things that, that you've been trying to create in your life. And it looks like one of them is going to show up soon. But in order for it to come in, you're going to have to free your hands. I'm seeing your hands. You're going to have to empty your hands somehow. Because something that you've been holding on to energetically is taking up space that needs to be filled by the new thing you've been trying to manifest, but trying to create. Well, it's on its way towards you. But you need a free hand to choose it. Seven of Cups, you might have several things. You might have new relationship and new job. Or there's just new things coming in to balance for you. Uh, but there's a need for you to have empty hands, to have a free hand. See, Whatever you've been working toward, it's almost like a labor. Okay, so they're showing me a woman birthing. She's pregnant. And she's been in gestation, patience. And she's had to endure... A lot. Nine of Wands. She's had to work hard. She's had to take care of herself, nurture herself, nurture what she's giving birth to. She or he. I'm just saying she. But she or he. Because men don't actually give birth. They... They plant the seed. So something's coming up for you. I don't know if it's new love. I don't know if it's past love. I don't know if it's a new job, new friends. But there's something here that you have been wishing for. You've been patiently in gestation. You've been wanting it and trying to create it, and it's been hard. And you've had to overcome a lot. To create it, you've had to invest in it, you've had to work. It wasn't easy, you had to work on it. Well, there's an opportunity coming this week for you to strike a balance between the push and the catch. <laughs> the push and the catch, or the throw and the catch, right? No when to throw, no when to catch. And you need a free hand to do it. So... I think you're going to have opportunities. Some of you, it's going to be in love, relationships, commitments. But in order to be open to receive it, you're going to have to somehow, some way, make sure there's space for it in your life. And if you've been waiting for someone else, to free themselves from a commitment, because here's patient. That could possibly balance itself out. Uh, there's an opportunity here this week for you guys. Um, your biggest message is don't give up on what makes you happy or don't give up on the one that you love. Don't give up on your dreams. Because...
opportunity is going to knock this week. But I, for some of you, this is somebody else. This is somebody else who, who you've been spiritually teamed up with. And you're going to reach some kind of a level, next level. There's a medal being bestowed on you. Or them. This week, something is going to find balance. It's going to land. And I think it's because somebody in the dynamic freed themselves from one commitment because they wanted to commit somewhere else, possibly with you, or vice versa. So really, the biggest message I'm getting for my pile number ones is it something you've been trying to create, probably in alignment with someone else, another job, another coworker, another boss, another lover, another soulmate, or somebody from your past who's returning. Some of them could be returning because they struck some kind of balance and they've made a decision. But there's a choice here. There's going to be options. There's going to be, there's going to be blessings this week coming in. Blessings that you've helped to create. And that you are in alignment with either giving or receiving. But in order to have it, you're going to have to make sure your energy is not full of commitments that you should have freed yourself from a long time ago. And make sure you don't give up on the ones that you know you shouldn't. It's striking a balance between knowing what you should cling to and knowing what you should release. Because there's a giving and receiving energy coming for you this week. Or you're presenting it to someone else. It's really nice energy. I mean, you got seven. Sevens is the big pause. You know, it's like, you know, that when the baby crowns, right? It's like you're almost there. And you've been patiently waiting for its arrival. And you've been very committed Now you got to know that right before the birthing happens, right before the receiving of the delivery, right? Right before the delivery of whatever you've been giving birth to, you have to make sure that you've prepared for it by creating space. You got, you know, if it's, let's say for instance, um, you're giving birth to a baby, but you're living in a car, that baby's going to come even if the car isn't the best place for it. So Spirit's saying, you know, how can you release whatever is not serving you to make room for what is or will? You're giving birth. Something is coming in that you've been patiently waiting for. Make sure you have a free hand to accept it. And make sure, just know how to say yes, thank you, or no, thank you. Because there's something here that's arriving that you've been wanting for a long time. But in order to have it, something else needs to be released. And it's either the person, place, or thing that's coming towards you, or it's you going toward it. But there's a contract, a binding contract here that's been in the way, obstruction, a binding contract that's been in the way of receiving whatever it is you've been praying for, wishing for, asking for, creating. And whatever that is, Spirit's asking you to release it I'm just having a hard time channeling this because I'm not sure if this is you or if it's them because there's more than one energy I'm reading here. So put yourself where you belong. 
somebody's going to receive something very beautiful that they've been patiently waiting for because the other person or thing, job, situation had something to experience, learn from, heal, and release before it could show up. <laughs> so I don't know if it's you or them. It feels to me like spirit saying, don't you give up on your dreams. Don't you give up on what you love. Don't you give up on your happiness, your happy home, your happy life, your happy place of employment, your happy relationships. Don't give up on what you've created, but prepare for it by knowing what to say yes to seven of cups and what to say no to you know seven of cups can be difficult if you want it all if you want your cake and eat it too seven of cups is easy if you know exactly what you want and you're in alignment with choosing it Whatever someone's been investing in is showing up. And there will be a need to be in alignment with receiving it, with knowing what you want so you can say yes to it. And Spirit's kind of saying, you're going to want to say yes to it. But there's also something here you're going to want to say no to. Know the difference and invest your time and energy in choosing whatever it is you've been patiently trying to create and nothing less. And don't give up on your dream right before it becomes reality. If this is romantic because we have sexuality, then energetically, the person you've been waiting for is freeing themselves or you freed yourself and now somebody is an empty vessel. There is masculine energy of arriving and feminine energy of receiving, but we all have both feminine and masculine within us. Spirit saying, be open to receive an empty don't take on any commitments that aren't in alignment with what you've been patiently trying to create because I think it's going to show up in spirit saying can you also show up and choose it and even recognize it, recognition. Can you recognize it and choose it? Because it's on its way. Or you're on your way. This is a week of letting go of anything that's been holding you back. And emptying your hands to receive something you've been waiting for. Because balance... Whenever energy finds its balance, when it finds its alignment, creation happens. And it looks like something you've been trying to become vibrationally in alignment with has a potential of, of finding its balance this week. What's your... It says, begin here. Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now and here. So for some of you, it is literally moving. Maybe moving to be with the love of your life. Moving jobs, moving home. Because it says, do not fear what travel brings. This is also journeying, right? There's movement this week in an area of your life where you wasn't sure you would align with. You're about to align with it. Know the difference. 
Know the difference. Don't commit yourself any place that binds you. Be free to travel. Travel light, <laughs> right? Make good choices. Prepare. It's, it seems like there's going to be a need to move. And if you're committed to the wrong things, you could not possibly move, right? This guy can't move. And so do not fear. You know, the fear could be what you need to release. Do not fear what change or travel brings. Because now is your moment. It's your moment, right? Recognizing it's your moment. The moment is yours. Begin now and here. You're giving birth to something or somebody's birthing something. It's bringing, there's new, something new. I don't see a single ace here, but I feel it. You're at the nine and the ten. Seven, eight. This is eight of swords energy and ten of wands. So there's like <clears throat> this seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like a progression. So this is like that last final push in the birthing process. Make sure there's no obstruction to the move, to the birthing, to the actual throw and catch. Because I don't know if you're the thrower or the catcher. <gasps> you know, are you the doctor or are you the, cat? I mean, the pitcher or the catcher? I'm not sure. But put yourself in whatever situation. Just know that this week, something you've been waiting for, something you've been investing in, something you didn't know whether it would ever show up, does and it's because it chose to free itself from someplace else so it could choose you or you freed yourself up to create balance to choose it and possibly both but don't give up don't give up you're almost there that happy new home a happy new relationship a happy new movement place wherever you've been investing your time and energy whatever movement you've been trying to create any obstacles to that this week should be, you should free yourself from. And if you've already done that, then you're in alignment with receiving from someone else. Your patience has finally paid off. Don't give up. And it's going to create a new beginning, but you're going to have to have discernment. I'm done. Okay. I love you guys. This has been a very confusing, but not confusing because I know exactly what it is. I just don't know how to articulate it. So hopefully in my ramblings, because that's what I feel like I'm doing, you've kind of received the message you need to receive for this week. All right, begin here. Don't give up. Let go of what doesn't serve you. Welcome in everything that does. Make good choices. And congratulations, recognition on your patience and, and your ability to see it through to the end. And I'm hearing, don't give up on us, baby. We're still worth one more try. So no matter what it is, I don't care if it's you trying to get a job or buy a car or get the guy or get the girl or whatever it is, don't give up on it. It's still worth one more try. Because I think somebody in the situation has found alignment and freed themselves to move. Maybe with you or you by yourself. But either way, be ready to move. <laughs> Have a nice empty um, suitcase on the side and only take what you need on whatever journey you're beginning. Okay? Oh my God. All right, moving on. Oh, well, we're moving on up to pile number two. Oh, where's all my cards? I don't know where, oh, there it is. Okay. 
pile number two was the purple stone, which I know the name of because I've got a great big chunk of it in my bed. But for whatever reason, my brain doesn't want to wrap it around it. Lipidolite. Lipidolite. I'm pretty sure. You can check my work and let me know in the comments. All right, pile number two. Where are we on time? We're at 25. Well, I'll just put 2545. 2545. Three, two. All right. We have six of swords, two of cups, and the fool. Look at there's that new beginning. For someone. Archangel Michael, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. We have ideation. We have evidence, detection, investigation, proof. We have have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. Funny, but you got Archangel Michael twice. We have Phoenix rising. All right. We have you deserve love. You are lovable. Sexual freedom. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, remember sex is also creation. This is um, the freedom to express and create through the sacral, the sacred, sacred creation. All right, I'm going to keep your... So, you know, this almost feels like a to be continued from pile number one, but, you know, you don't have to watch one unless you were called to. But this is all about, you know, overcoming fears, rising from the ashes. You know, you've been someplace, Six of Swords tells me you've been through a storm. You know, you've been through something. And it's probably in relationship to, you know, uh, partnerships. Now, those don't always have to be romantic. But when you get sexual freedom, it tells me you have somehow relieved yourself You've used the sword of light to free yourself from something that you're now in alignment with moving beyond. Movement, again, movement. Rising from the ashes and healing and moving forward. Starting something new. And, and you get some kind of validation, some kind of proof. Proof, evidence. Something happens that gives you an aha moment of realization that you deserve love and you are lovable. And you've got this. You're strong. You're fearless. You've learned some hard lessons. You've been through some storms. You've There's going to be something that changes your mind. Idea. Ideation. Change your mind. Change your life. You have two fives. Number 14 and 32. Both break down to a five. And this is number 55, which is five five. So big change. There's something that is changing for you. And I think it's from the inside out. You're having a realization, ideation, that you deserve love. And you're freeing yourself. From it feels like limited beliefs that have created fear. You've had experiences that created fear, and you've been creating from that fear limitation, probably in connection with others, with you know, 
soulmates, whether it's romantic or, or your dog, your father, your mother, your brothers, your neighborhood, your job, your boss, your coworkers, you know, it's, it's relationships, it's partnerships. For most of you, it could literally be love. I mean, we got sexual freedom, you know, it, you deserve love. However, it arrives for you, whether it arrives romantically or in a family dynamic or in your workplace or you, it's like you're chasing after something that you were afraid to chase before, not in a bad way, but it's like, um, you know, I said for pile number one, make sure you've got a suitcase an empty suitcase because you could be needing it. And this girl is taking off with something new and she's got her suitcase. And in order to do that, I think she had to overcome a fear, a fear that she couldn't or a fear that she wasn't worthy or fear that it wasn't good enough. That's being healed. And I'm noticing Here's a whole different woman who has a child and a suitcase, two suitcases. And she's leaving this shadow. That shadow, I think, could be fear itself, whether it's fear of my father, fear of my mother, fear of my siblings fear of my boss fear of my boyfriend my husband fear i think you've had some kind of an experience that created fear when it comes to connection and i think that it created a belief in you that you weren't lovable or pretty enough or sexy enough or enough and I think this week that's shifting for you. <laughs> I think you're healing something within you that is manifesting something in your physical world that's going to create a brand new beginning, a phoenix rising moment, a fool, the fool. I think you're leaving things behind. Maybe you're leaving people behind, jobs behind, ideas behind. And you're freeing yourself because now you know your worth. You know that you deserve love. And you're willing to pursue it. Big change. Big change. This is knowing what you want. When you when it arrives, this isn't you chasing something that isn't showing up. This is something showing up and you embracing it and going for it, acting on it with a newfound realization, ideation. I deserve it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take that job. I'm going to move to that home. I'm going to start that. Whatever that is. And I don't believe you're doing it alone. I believe you're doing it with someone else. There are connections. Some of you it's not romantic, but a lot of you it is. Whatever it is, whatever you've been shooting for, whatever you've been creating, um, you are going to find alignment with it because there, the universe is going to bring somebody, because I'm seeing two people um, or other people, into your awareness and to create with you. This is, you know, what it feels like when I look at this Six of Swords and this Phoenix Rising. It feels to me like some of you could have been in situations 
it just drained your life force energy and you gave and gave and gave and gave and gave and gave and gave because you were hoping at some point those people, places, or things were going to give back. But something arrives this week, maybe even just a belief system, but there's going to be evidence in your physical realm or spiritual realm or mental realm, which kind of gives you a light bulb moment that you deserve happiness you deserve love you deserve to go for it to just go for it take a risk whatever your dream is whatever something's showing up i see that you're going to create something in partnership with others or maybe one particular other. But it feels to me like this woman's leaving a bad relationship. This is like divorce. Fuck you. See you later. I'm done. I'm leaving you behind. Because I know I'm lovable. I know that I can do better than this. Even though for the longest time I didn't believe I could. So I stayed. I overstayed my welcome in a situation that I should have left. And it created fear and chaos and I've had enough that's what I feel like saying I've had enough I'm done done I'm leaving that behind and I'm gonna have the strength and courage to free myself to pursue the things that and the people that make me happy that see my worth and my value i'm now choosing the kind of people and situations that choose me this is just beautiful alignment i know what i want i know i deserve to have it i've got evidence of it now so i'm leaving behind anything that's not in alignment with it and i'm going to have the courage to overcome my fears and I'm going to go for it in a better situation. And so whatever comes into your awareness this week, that's what Spirit's telling you is, you know, this is an opportunity to create change for yourself if you just realize how lovable you are, how deserving you are, how anything that doesn't treat you like you're worthy really isn't meant for you. Just leave it. Just walk away. Pack up your suitcase. Head for something better. You're strong. You can do this. Some of you might actually be leaving relationships. You could be leaving, divorcing. You could be moving out, moving away. You could be divorcing your job. You could be divorcing your family. You could be divorcing a lot of things or just one in particular. But if you are, it's because you're in alignment with with aligning with something better. Something better. Someone better. A better job. A better home. A better city. A better marriage. A better lover. A better, better. Just better. And Archangel Michael is saying, Ooh, do not fear. For that is a trap of your ego allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings that hold you back some of you might not have felt sexy you might not have felt beautiful you might meet somebody that makes you feel sexy and beautiful you might get a job that makes you feel sexy and beautiful you might just feel sexy and beautiful and so you're going to go after things that validate that, prove that, and align with that. I am with you, Archangel Michael, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Alignment with what fulfills you. Bless this space. Your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palo Santo or sage will clear the air. You could literally just 
speak your truth with the sword, right? I speak my truth, you know, and it's like you're claiming your space. You could be leaving a place that's toxic because it says Palo Santo or Sage will clear the air. But you're getting rid of toxicity in your life, no matter where it's at. And you're creating something better by knowing that you deserve it and actively creating it, moving toward it. We have secret sketches. Wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. Your life purpose also is showing, you know, wherever you've been, whatever footprints you leave behind, make sure that you leave them behind for others to follow. Because where you're going is really good. And it, I think it's after a lot of internal healing, self-reflection, and a major life change through decisions and cord cutting. Leaving things that are toxic and stale clearing them out in order to sketch and create something better with a whole new belief system instead of lack but abundance knowing that you are lovable and you deserve love you deserve to be free you you deserve to be able to create the kind of life that you want the kind of job the kind of romance the kind of marriage you deserve it and so shoot your shot this week you need to cord cut anything that doesn't serve you and you need to take action toward the things you know because now you know you have evidence to prove it take action toward something that's really in alignment with you vibrationally equal it's your equal match right my cup and your cup are exactly the same. We are a perfect match, vibrationally. So you could very well meet somebody new. And it doesn't have to be sexually, but boy, look at the red. Some of you could, you know, really meet somebody new and spark something beautiful but it took a long path a lot of healing a lot of leaving a lot of movement like you needed to, to physically mentally spiritually emotionally remove yourself from where you were building in order to build somewhere better and you're going to have the courage to overcome any fears that hold you back from doing so and if you don't that's your advice. Look at the space that you are at. Is it toxic? Is it low vibrational? Do you need to clear it out? If you do, don't be afraid. Archangel Michael is here to help you do that. And the moment you do, the moment you know you deserve to, is the moment you, the, what's meant for you arrives. And then you're ready to create again. Phoenix rising. Something fell. And now something new is being birthed and created. And you're stronger, you're wiser, you know more. And you're more in alignment with the having of it. Don't be afraid to dream big. Secret sketches, whatever you've been asking for, dreaming about, wanting. Spirit's been watching and pushing you into alignment with the purpose of it, your divine life purpose. And there's this thing about, you know, where you've been, others have been and are currently, and leave deep footprints for them to follow because where you're going, others will follow. I do believe it's part of your divine life purpose is teaching others how to rise again. And find the very thing they thought that they weren't ever going to have. The moment they let go of everything they were holding on to that they didn't need. A lot of you, it's a belief system about who you are and what your value is. But you're going to get evidence this week. Boom, boom. 
I'm going to have to look at the uh, charts and see what's going on this week because this feels like it's planetary. So this has been your reading. Make sure you know what you want. Be strong enough to go after it, even if that means there's some painful leavings. You got to go, you're leaving something and you're headed towards something else. And Spirit's saying, shoot your shot. Don't be afraid to aim high. Aim high. You're not too late. And you know it. And remember, sexual freedom is also the freedom of expression. To create without shame. To create without limitation. To create without stagnation. To create without dogma. Something's going to be pointed out to you this week. And I think it's going to show you exactly what you need to. To be in alignment with receiving something perfect for you. Don't be afraid to accept it and to take your shot. Okay? All right. I love you guys. I'm going to move on. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm cleaning up as I go because when I'm done, I'm done for the day. All right. Pile number three. Where are we? Time-wise, we are at 46, 46. Hey, 46, 46. So that's 10, 10, which is 11. Or I mean, 1, 1. Okay. All right, pile number three. We have nine of swords. Look at, oh, let me put these back. Nine of swords. Ace of Wands. Oh, and Eight of Cups. I want to put this here. We have Ariel. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. We have confidence. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to put that under the Ace of Wands. We have blind, awkward, unknown visual problems. I'll put that under the Nine of Swords. It's a nine also. We have embraced this magical moment. You are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. Oh, we have sexuality again. Dang, guys. So you could probably watch any. I would suggest. Honestly, I'd suggest watching all three. I want that there. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We have the silver waterfall. Oh, my God. What a beautiful reading. And I'll hold on to this. We'll get that in a minute. All right. So you've got 11, guys. All right. Um, you had 4545 as your timestamp. Right? No, 46. Which was 1010. Which if you break those down individually, it's 1-1. One, one. So you got 11 here. You got 11 there. There's something that you are... Because are, you've got 8, 9... 10, ace, 1-1. One, one. You have two options coming up for you this week. You can... It looks to me like you're worried about leaving something behind to pursue something better.
And there's fear again. And there's confidence, right? You, there's this one or that. That's the two. The two. You have two pathways to take. And spirit has been guiding you for a while now. New sight, your, your intuition and signs and synchronicities have been guiding you and changing you from the inside out. Changing the way you view your world and the way you view yourself and the way you view others. Spirit saying, allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. And Ace of Wands is creative energy with confidence. This is not confident. Nine of Swords is worry, stress, fear, nightmares. So there's something you're afraid of leaving because you were emotionally invested. But now you're wanting to invest in something better. And you've been divinely guided to do so. And Spirit's saying, even if you don't feel confident, confidence, if you feel fear, whatever this Eight of Cups is, let it go. As you release it and heal from it, you experience more love in your present moment. This week, people are open to, people need to be open to receive. Embrace the magical moment. You're in the perfect energetic space. I do believe this sexuality also is about creation. It's a four, it's stability, it's secure. It's like a foundation. It is part of our foundation because it's the second chakra from the bottom. Right? The root chakra is about foundation. The sacral chakra is about creating from a foundation that can support the energetic manifestation. I believe if you step into this waterfall, this silver waterfall, look at the rainbow over it. There's just so much beautiful stuff here. It's like paradise. I think you've been being called towards something that will really bring you, or someone, that will really, really bring you a very fulfilling prophecy, right? Psychic. I knew I could do it, but I was afraid to try because I didn't know what to expect. But as I face those fears, my shadow, dark night of the soul, I saw things, new psychic views through experiences. I saw things for what I believe now I couldn't see before. And so if I forgive them and release them, heal them, those experiences, walk away from them, release them, I am creating space to call in something better. Everybody this week has an opportunity, if they energetically align with it, of receiving something very, very miraculous, very beautiful. But the only way you can have it is to know that you deserve it and to put away any fear of doubts or doubts around whether or not you're good enough for it strong enough for it, smart enough for it, creative enough for it, sexy enough for it. And for a lot of you, this has to do with mission work. You know, maybe you've been on a healing journey that you will teach others. Your spiritual gifts are opening up. You're seeing things you couldn't see before. The monster under the bed you're realizing isn't real. You created it through fear. You created it through experiences that weren't meant to really kind of define you. They were just meant to teach you something. And I think you're about to learn a lesson in leaving. Somebody's going to give you a lesson losing somebody's going What's that song? 
Somebody's gonna give you a lesson. Somebody's gonna give you a lesson and leave, and somebody's gonna give you back what you've been given. And I hope that I'm around to watch them knock you down. It's like you didn't love them and leave them, just like you and loved me and left me. It's like you do do that sort of thing over and over again. Because you're a fool-hearted man. I don't know what that means, guys. There's a message in there. I'm seeing these glasses. Where you were blind, you will see. Where they were blind, they will see. If this is somebody else, I'm going to give you a lesson in leaving. Somebody's going to give you back what you've been given. And I hope that I'm around. There could be somebody who has not been rooting for you. Who is happy when you're lost. And maybe even benefiting. Benefiting. And it's like, um, it feels like a karmic debt is about to be either forgiven and nullified, which I believe is what Spirit's asking you to do, or there's going to be a realization that you don't owe anybody anything but yourself and, and God. Like it, it, There's just this feeling I have. Some of you, this is about leaving a relationship. You're afraid to leave. I have responsibilities. I created a family. I'm emotionally involved. Look at, this is like somebody laying awake at night, worrying and stressing and fearing. Leaving something or someone that they loved and created with in order to pursue their own happiness. And very divinely guided to do so in service to the greater collective. And it's a very personal journey of leaving and forgiveness and embracing. You know, it's like, um, again, it's the message of let go of what doesn't serve you. And so you can have empty hands to receive and embrace Something better. It's like where you were blind, you can now see with confidence. What you did, how you did it, why you did it. And you can forgive yourself and other people and just let it go. Walk away. Create something better. And for a lot of you, it's going to become a spiritual practice. Somehow, some way, or it's a spiritual lesson that you've needed to learn in order to forgive and physically, in your experience, walk away from something where I think you've been blindly staying because of fear. And you're about to create something new and you're very divinely guided to do so. So, again, you could watch any pile this week. The silver waterfall. It's not a normal waterfall. Water is emotions. Water, emotions can be both. They can be heavy or they can be cleansing. The silver waterfall is what you need it to be. Do you need it to be heavy? Because if you do, then keep on. Because eventually it'll become too heavy and then you will create change through your intuition. So this silver waterfall is your emotions. They can be cleansing or they can be burdensome. I think where they've been burdensome, you're about to clear some space. Confidently. 
creating ace of wands sexuality could very well be passion you could be leaving a deadbeat relationship that no longer serves you or a deadbeat job or a deadbeat family dynamic in order to pursue something that lights you up ace of wands something that is sexually enticing you know, sexuality doesn't have to literally mean sex. But when you get sexuality and the Ace of Wands together, it could very well mean sex. But blind, awkward, unknown, vision problems. It's just fear. You know... Wherever you're headed, go with confidence and don't worry about knowing all the details. Don't worry about stressing over the details or stressing over the money. Everything you need, you were psychically, I mean, these are spiritual gifts. Everything you need to create the life that you came here to create, you already had within you. Just pursue them. Get to know them. Strengthen them through prayer, meditation. Ask for the answers. Wait for, ask the questions and wait for the answers. And trust and have faith when they come in. Because it looks to me like everybody has some really beautiful stuff coming in. But whether or not they can, you know, it's going to be pitched to you. See, coming in. But are you in vibrational alignment with catching it like a wave like a, a surfer you've been waiting for the perfect wave and it's about to come can you climb on it and ride it for its full potential or will you allow fear of crashing and burning like you may have done before to rob you of your confidence and hold you back your biggest advice is not to do that Three-eyed raven, as sunrise hits upon the dew, a messenger raven calls out with news. Again, something that you couldn't see is about to show up. And it's something that I think you knew all along. Somehow you knew through your spiritual sign synchronicities, 11-11, right? You got all these signs and sinks coming in. Something you couldn't see, you're about to see. Somehow, some way, a message that comes in that helps you to confidently release something and walk away from it and in order to embrace something confidently better that you've been trying to create all along. And so whether it's a spiritual message through signs and synchronicities, which for a lot of you it is because I've seen so many sinks in this reading, or if this is a literal message from somebody you've been waiting to hear from, um, there's going to be an aha moment where you go from being blind to where you kind of see. And it's going to give you a confidence boost. And it's going to help you to literally forgive, learn, release, and heal something that's been holding you back. And your emotions seem to be your compass when you're blind. I'm hearing recreation. We are recreating our lives. We are recreating our dreams. We are recreating our wishes. We are not happy with what we've created and we are going to forgive it, learn from it, let it go, face our fears with confidence, and create something better. And I believe whatever that better thing is, you're going to know what it is because it's going to come to you in a download or a spiritual experience or a psychic download or 
an etheric message, right? It's the three-eyed raven with the psychic spiritual experience, the 1111, the, the ones, the choices. It's just very synchronistic. Follow your intuition. Your emotions are your compass. And pray and meditate and ask for signs and synchronicities. I believe whatever you're not able to see, spirit will show you. And from that place, you will finally be able to move forward without fear and create something better. All right, everybody's got to let me know in the comments what the hell this is all about. But boy, it came out. I, I use how many decks and I draw these cards randomly. And these messages are always in some kind of a alignment. So, it, you know, as above, so below, as within, so without. The collective seems to be experiencing something this week that we're all going to experience collectively, but it's going to show up in our own little creation, our own little world, in a way that we have been asking for or needing it to. Don't be afraid to have a free hand to catch it. All right? I love you guys. Namaste.